Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mason. Welcome back to the channel today. Before the video starts, I want to thank you guys so much for 14,000 subscribers, baby. That's right, 14,000 of you beautiful fucking people. God damn. No, but for real guys, seriously, I really want to thank you for 14,000. We're actually almost at 15,000. Let's try to hit it by the end of today. That'd be absolutely insane. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, remember, subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. You already know the vibes. But yeah, today we're going to be going over the best Warzone settings to be using. I know a lot of you have been asking me in my videos, especially in the comment section. Hey man, what are your settings? I want to know what your settings are. Your dead zone, you know, dynamic response curve. That's what I use. Um, aim assist, you know, sensitivity, ADS sensitivity, all that good stuff. We're going to be going over everything today. So uh, yeah, we're going to get right into it, man. All right, guys, so we are here in my settings. So I actually have changed them from my previous video. A lot of you have been asking me, hey man, have you changed them since the last video? Yes. Yes, I have. So actually, they added this new thing into the game called Dead Zone. So basically, I'm going to just explain it real quick. I'm going to give you guys the uh, simple version for you guys who don't want the technical term for it. So basically, the higher the Dead Zone is, it takes longer for your stick to actually start moving when you're pushing it. So let's say you're on a high Dead Zone, like let's go all the way up to 0.4, correct? If you push your stick here, I'm going to go right here. If you push your stick to like right here it still will not move until you get to like right here then it'll start moving so the lower it is the faster it's going to start moving when you press your stick so let's say it's on zero like mine it's going to be really really fine so if i move it just the slightest like this it's going to start moving you know what i'm saying so the higher it is the more it's going to take for you to push your stick for actually your uh, guy to start looking around so dead zone is really nice when you're trying to get those really fine aim like from really far away so it's really good with a sniper so let's say you're in war zone and you see a guy 600 meters out right and you want to get the slightest little turn like the slightest little turn if you're on zero dead zone man you barely have to push your stick and you're going to be moving your stick so um what i do recommend is putting this up to 0.03 to 0.05 0.05 is the standard i do put it to 0.03 just so i can get a little bit of um you know better aim control now i do have to let you guys know the lower you go you're gonna have stick drift so if you have a worn out controller and it starts drifting off a little bit you're gonna need to have to raise your dead zone up a little bit because a lot of people when they put it on zero and they don't even touch their controller it's gonna start moving because of stick drift so definitely put it on 0.03 to 0.05 now for horizontal and vertical i do use 6.6 i used to use 7.5 which is really weird and then a 0.75 low zoom but i have been going up because it's been really screwing me over when i'm in those close range gunfights and i need an ads um and i'm on a 0.75 ads low zoom and when that happens i'm aiming down sight and i'm trying to switch switch people right and i'm trying to ads and just switch people um it was going too slow and i would die so i put it back up to 1.0 um so i'm using 6.6 1.0 and then for my uh my high zoom so sniper scopes i put that at 0.8 you're aiming down sights from a far range you don't want it to be super high so when you hit your stick it like you know flies around you want it to be low so you can get those fine little adjustments so you can hit them right in the head so i do like 0.8 for that 0.75 is actually not bad either but I'm comfortable with 0.8. Aim response curve, I actually use dynamic. Dynamic is the best for me. Um, a lot of people ask me what's the difference between linear, standard, and dynamic. Standard has a little bit more slow to fast rate. Dynamic speeds up a little bit more like a little bit more quick than standard and then dynamic is actually raw input so whatever you move your stick and how fast you move your stick that's exactly what the game is going to do um dynamic if you go straight over like this on your controller it's going to take it it's going to slow and then go fast so it's going to go slow then fast standard is going to go slow and then fast so it takes a little bit longer to speed up honestly aim response curve is preference so whatever you guys you know are good with that's what i would go to i know my friend reed boy he uses linear and he's a god with it seriously um but a lot of people use dynamic just because of the recoil pattern with it it's pretty easy to control so that's why i use dynamic i'm used to it everything like that control of vibration i do play with this on i know that's really weird but i do but yeah i do play with controller vibration on aim assist i use standard that's pretty much it for the aiming portion of the settings everything else is pretty you know standard i don't really change anything else one thing i do recommend is putting on tap to slide so you can slide you know when you tap instead of having to hold down the circle button with the slide i totally forgot to go over my button layout i do use stick and move flip which means i jump with my right stick i click that in and it jumps and then i also have digital triggers so i do use the flipped portion so i shoot with my triggers right here uh, i'm just comfortable with it it helps me control recoil a lot more which is weird i don't understand that but hey it is what it is man i play good and i like it so those are my settings everything else i keep normal film grain keep at 0.25 brightness 0.5 
audio you guys really ask me all the time what i use i use boost high on a 15 percent a lot of you say that's low but in my ears because i have a mix amp that shit is loud bro like seriously it is loud as hell for real seriously my ears sound like they're gonna get blown out every time i'm using it so and then music i turn that off dialogue 0.5 and then effects 100 percent and that's pretty much it guys honestly these are the simple settings um i do really suggest you use a high zoom really low like a 0.8 just because you know snipers you know you want that slow slow ish ads speed because you know you want to hit those headshots don't want it to be too fast or too slow so 0.8 right in the middle really nice like i said dead zone was just implemented in the game so i would go down to like a 0.03 to a 0.05 if you guys do not have any stick drift definitely play on 0.00 but i do have stick drift so i have to play on like a 0.03 so it doesn't just fly all over the place on its own and that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna be putting some game clips at the end to show you guys my sniper skills all right just because i am the best sniper in this game hands down I don't want nobody in the comments saying somebody else is better because they're not. All jokes aside, guys, seriously. I really hope you guys did enjoy the settings video just real quick. If you did, please like and subscribe down below. That'd be much appreciated, everybody, for real. We're on our way to 15,000 subscribers. You guys are fucking crazy, bro. And yeah, it's been Mason. I will see you guys on the next one. Let's get it, baby. Hit him for shield. Hit him. Oh, oh. Wait, Bottom floor, left window. I'm watching him, just keep crawling. Oh, never mind. I don't know what the fuck I'm getting sniped from. I hit him, I hit him. He's weak. You're good. Okay. Oh, just keep going, just keep going. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff, bro. Oh, second sword, right. Right, 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 right. I jumped off. Okay, he's right here. On the rock. Nah, not on the rock, just on the hill. Yeah, One right here on this rock. Just on the rock, I'm using growl for the content. Top window. Down and down. Alright, down the guy, top house. Probably up right now, but. Down him. Top house. Again. Shift, 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 shift. Oh, somebody's oh, yeah, right in front. Oh, yeah, he's up there. He's looking. Oh, no, he's not. That's a piece of glass. I'm fucking scared. Just watch. We're fine. Yeah, I'm watching. He went out back. Broke him. Damn it. I fucking missed. You said he's on the loadout? Yeah, he is. Now he is. Hey, got him. Get stuff, freak. Oh. Where is that, where is that guy shooting? Is he just having an LMG? Just... Pretty much. Could be another one in here. Not 100% sure. Yeah, I mean, to left. To left. I knew there was somebody in there. I fucking heard him. He's a trying. Thirsted. Flash. Yeah, by the silo. Yeah, on the roof if you know how to jump. By the big fat titty. There's another one over there. Yep. 